Okay, students. Let us take the problems uh, based on conditional probability and independent and dependent events concepts. Suppose that five percent of men and zero point two five percent of women have Grey hair. A grey haired person, a grey haired person is selected at random. Is selected at random. What is the probability of this person being male? What is the probability of this person being male? Assume that there are equal number of males and females assume there are equal number of equal number of males and females suppose that 5% of men and 0.5% of women have grey haired person. A person is uh, selected, a grey haired person is selected here. What is the probability that the person being a male? Provided that uh, the number of males and females are equal. Suppose uh, number of uh, males grey haired males to hundred. Number of grey haired females also hundred because assuming both are equal. Now a person is uh, selected, a grey haired person is selected, okay. Let A stands for a grey haired person, haired person is selected, selected. A stands for a grey haired person is selected. B is the event that a grey haired male is selected. Okay. Person in the sense either male or female here. So a grey haired person is selected. The event A is a grey haired person is selected. B is a grey haired male is selected. Okay. Now probability of uh, oh wait and 
suppose C stands for a grey haired female is selected a grey haired female is selected so now P of A a grey haired person is selected means happening of either B or C so probability of B intersection uh, B or C union C it is probability of B plus probability of C since B intersection C is 5 B intersection C is 5 the probability of B grey haired male is selected the grey haired male is selected is here 5 by 100 and this is 0 0.25 means 25 by 1000 this is the probability that selection of a grade person now a happened happening of b once a person is a gray haired person is selected then he must be a male that probability is needed here and again probability of b is here clearly pi by 100 therefore probability of b on the occurrence of a once a person is selected he should be a male the conditional probability of b on the occurrence of a the conditional probability of b on the occurrence of a that means probability of selection of a male given that a gray haired person is selected so probability of b on the occurrence of a is here actually a person is selected out of 200 persons the selection is 1 by 200 but the gray haired persons are selected here that's why i am taking like this the person may be a gray haired person of uh, uh, male candidate or gray haired person of female <coughs> so probability of b on the occurrence of a is probability of b intersection a by probability of a itself probability of b intersection a is 5 by 10 itself 5 by 10 b intersection a <coughs> probability of b intersection a b intersection a is 5 by B intersection 5 percent out of 100 5 5 or B and A B intersection A is 5 by 100 okay 5 percent 5 percent means every okay okay by probability of A is 5 by 100 plus 25 by 1000 0 0.25 0 0.25 percent is nothing but power 25 by 100 percent so this is one must have one more zero one more zero okay this is 5 by 100 into this is 10,000 by 525 this is 500 plus 25 so this one is uh, five ones fives so that 20 by 25 100 by 105 means 20 by 20 the required probability the required probability is 20 by 21 okay 20 by 21 
this is the problem based on conditional probability conditional probability next one A comma B or independent events such that such that <coughs> A comma B or independent events such that probability of A complement of course intersection B is 2 by 15 and probability of A intersection B complement is 1 by 6 then P of P the options are 1 by 5 4 by 5 third one is 1 by 6 fourth one is 5 by 6 a, B or independent events. A and B or independent events such that probability of A complement intersection B is 2 by 15. Probability of A intersection B complement is 1 by 6. Then probability of B. Given A, B or independent, that implies a complement B or independent and A B complement are also independent. This is the known point, known concept to us. Once A B are independent, their complements are independent. A complement, B complement are also independent as well. A complement, B are independent. Similarly, A, B complement are also independent. So, these two are independent and these two are independent. Therefore, let P of A is X. P of B is Y here. Given probability of A complement intersection B is 2 by 15 implies. Since they are independent, this is probability of A complement into probability of B itself. The intersection probability is product of the probabilities once they are independent. By definition of the independency of the events, the probability of happening of both the events is product of their individual probabilities itself. So, this that is probability of A complement is 1 minus probability of A that is 1 minus x probability of B is y equal to 2 by 15 let it be 1. Similarly, given Probability of A intersection B complement is 1 by 6. That implies this is probability of A into probability of B complement is 1 by 6. That gives us X into 1 minus Y. The probability of B complement is 1 minus probability of B. That is 1 by 6. 
solve to get x and y <coughs> solve x uh, 1 and 2 to get x and y y gives us the probability of b x gives us the probability of a so from 1 and 2 I will eliminate x eliminating x to get y probability of b eliminating x we get how to eliminate x from this x may be written as 1 by 6 into 1 minus y so we get 1 minus x in, oh sorry 1 minus of 1 by 6 into 1 minus y this is our x into y is 2 by 15. Now that is 6 minus 6y minus y, 6 into 1 minus y into y takes the value 2 by 15. This is 5 minus 5 minus 6y by 6 minus 6y of course y into equal to 2 by 15 solving this one this is 75 y this is 90 y square equal to 12 minus 12 y that is 90 y square minus this is 90 89 89 y 87 y not 87 y plus 12 is 0 ok now find y value now find y value 1 by 6 into 1 minus y 6 minus 6 y 5 minus 6 y ok So, find the factors of uh, 19 to 12 to get 87, 45 to 24, still it is uh, 90, 12, 6 to 7. <coughs> so, this is uh, of course 9, 5, yeah. 54 this is 10 not 7 odd it is odd of course 18 30 plus not possible this is 30 54 not possible ok so again this is 3, 3, so 27 and 15, so 30, 60. Okay. So the required, the required factorization is minus 60y minus 27y plus 12 equal to 0. <coughs> Twenty-seven y. Okay. Taking ten as common, nine three nines to three fours. This is actually fifteen seventy-five. Okay, <coughs> three zero. 9 3 is 27, 15, 15 4 60. It is okay. Now taking 9 9 common we get 3, 12, 60 minus. 12 means 9, 9, 3 is 4, 10, not possible here. 
నైన్ ఫైవ్స్ నైన్ ఓ దిస్ ఈజ్ త్రీ టూస్ నాట్ ఓకే దట్ ఈస్ రాంగ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ రాంగ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ యాక్చువల్లీ నైన్ ఫైవ్ త్రీ టూ ఇంటూ టూ ఇంటూ టూ ఓకే ఆఫ్కోర్స్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ట్వెల్వ్ అండ్ నైన్టీ ఓకే నా కమింగ్ టు ఫ్యాక్టరైజేషన్ సో దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు గెట్ ఎయిటీ సెవెన్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ దిస్ ఈజ్ సిక్స్ ట్వెల్వ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ప్లస్ టూ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ఓకే సో నైన్ ట్వంటీ సెవెన్స్ ఇయర్ నైన్ టూస్ టెన్ టెన్ టూస్ ట్వంటీ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఫార్టీ ఓకే నైన్ ఓకే దట్ షుడ్ బి నైన్ ఇంటూ త్రీ ట్వంటీ సెవెన్ టెన్ ఫోర్ జా ఫార్టీ దిస్ ఈజ్ సిక్స్టీ సెవెన్ ఓన్లీ నాట్ ఎయిటీ సెవెన్ ట్వంటీ సెవెన్ ఫోర్ జార్ ఫైవ్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ దట్స్ నాట్ పాసిబుల్ లెట్ ఎస్ ఫైండ్ వై ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ లెట్ ఎస్ ఫైండ్ వై హియర్ విత్ ది హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ బి ప్లస్ ఆర్ మైనస్ మైనస్ బి ప్లస్ ఆర్ మైనస్ వై ఈక్వల్ టు దర్ ఫోర్ వై ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ బి ప్లస్ or minus taking b square minus 4ac by 2a or a okay y stands for probability probability is always more than zero so <coughs> choose either plus or minus uh, so that y is positive <coughs> y is positive so that uh, this is uh, 87 87 so 49 this is uh, 5660 so 56 64 69 9 6 15 7 of course this is 9 into 48 0 72 36 plus 7 36 plus 7 is 43 ఫోర్ త్రీ త్రీ జీరో నైన్ ఫోర్ టూ త్రీ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ఎయిటీ సెవెన్ ప్లస్ ఫోర్ మైనస్ త్రీ టూ ఫోర్ నైన్ బై వన్ ఎయిట్ త్రీ టూ ఫోర్ నైన్ త్రీ టూ ఫోర్ నైన్ బై వన్ ఎయిట్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఫిఫ్టీ సెవెన్ ఐ థాట్ దట్ nearly 53 or 57 taking 57 we get 49 35 39 35 25 28 so 4 okay so that is equal to 87 plus or minus 57 by 18 y is positive so to take positive value here let us take minus or plus uh, once more or it is less than this should be less than 1 so that uh, must be consider 57 by 180 or 50 plus 57 by 180 either minus or plus may be valid here because it is a quadratic we get two values so that is uh, 30 by 180 that is 1 by 6 or this is 4 and uh, 914 by 180 72 by 90 <coughs> yeah, again this is uh, 12 uh, 9 8 9 8 9 tens 2 4 so 2 5 so p of b takes the value either 1 by 6 or 4 by 5 so the required probability is obtained by solving this quadratic of course it may have 
it may have two values here 1 by 6 or 4 by 5 multiple options we have multiple options here so that is the way of solving this problem because a the concept the basic concept of this uh, problem is once a and b are independent a complement and b or independent a complement b or independent and a b complement also independent that is the concept here A comma B or any two independent events events if alpha and beta or two positive reals or two positive reals such that alpha into square root of the conditional probability of A on the occurrence of B plus B into square root of the conditional probability of A complement on the occurrence of B is 2 by 3. Then minimum value of minimum value of 9 into alpha square plus beta square equal to this is integer type question this is one integer type question you may expect such questions in mains a and b are any two independent events if alpha and beta are two positive reals such that alpha into square root of probability of A on the occurrence of B plus beta into square root of probability of A complement on the occurrence of B is 2 by 3. Then minimum value of 9 into alpha square plus beta square. Okay. Here let the conditional probability of A on the occurrence of B is small p. Of course, p is always greater than 0 probability is greater than 0. So, conditional probability of A complement on the occurrence of B. Pro <coughs> conditional probability of A complement on the occurrence of B. Once A, B are independent, once A, B are independent, this is probability of A complement itself. Since A comma B are independent, A comma B are independent implies a complement B or independent. So, probability of A complement on the occurrence of B is probability of A complement itself because these two are independent. The probability of B does not influence the probability of A complement or A itself. So, this is my one minus probability of A. Of course, this is also probability of A here probability of A which is because A and B are independent. So, this is 1 minus P itself. Once A, B are independent, probability of A on the occurrence of B is probability of A itself that is EP. Probability of A complement given B is also probability of A complement that is 1 minus P. Therefore, alpha into root p plus beta into root 1 minus p is 2 by 3. <coughs> alpha into root p plus beta into 1 minus uh, root 1 minus p is 2 by 3. This should be minimized here. To minimize this function, 
to minimize this function in P differentiating <coughs> differentiating the function with P on both sides that should be 0 plus beta into root 1 minus P should be 0. Based on this find P in terms of all find beta. <coughs> to minimize this function in P find P so that the first derivative is 0. Here all find beta are reals. So all find to derivative of root P 1 by 2 root. Similarly, this is beta by 2 root 1 minus p is 0. Derivative of 1 minus root p, root uh, 1 minus uh, p, root 1 minus p derivative 1 by 2 root 1 minus p. Derivative of root p is 1 by 2 root p. You can remove this one. Now, alpha by beta takes the value, alpha by beta takes the value root p by 1 minus p. That implies beta by beta square by alpha square takes the value 1 minus p by p, which gives us beta square by alpha square equal to 1 by p minus 1. Therefore, uh, uh, beta square plus alpha square plus 1 equal to 1 by p, p t in terms of uh, alpha, alpha square plus beta square. That is the probability of A here actually. So, therefore, at P equal to, at P equal to, therefore, at P equal to alpha square by alpha square plus beta square, the function <coughs> takes its minimum, takes its minimum. So, the minimum value is therefore, minimum value is alpha into square root of alpha square by alpha square plus beta square plus beta into square root of 1 minus alpha square by alpha square plus beta square equal to 2 by 3. It is the minimum value. That implies <coughs> at P it takes minimum value. So that uh, I am taking P value as alpha square by alpha square plus beta square in this one. So this is alpha into alpha, alpha square by root over alpha square plus beta square. Similarly, this is beta, beta square by root over alpha square plus beta square is 2 by 3. That implies that implies here uh, root over alpha square plus beta square is 2 by 3. Alpha square plus beta square is 4 by 9. Hence 9 into alpha square plus beta square value is 4. So this is the required uh, value of 9 into alpha square plus beta square once that one is that one takes its minimum value. Such problems uh, may expect in mains. Such problems may expect in mains. <coughs> okay.